Good morning, Driven to be Healthy. Going the distance challenge participants. It is Thursday. It is day four in our five day kind of momentum building qualification challenge. And I hope everyone has a great morning today, a great day today, and I'm excited to be here with you. I wanna share something with you. Uh, a few years ago, um, in my past life, I like to think of it as, um, owning the yoga studio, I started noticing I was having trouble sleeping. And I've never been somebody my entire life that was just able to fall asleep right away, so I know that about my body. But I was starting to wake up in the middle of the night, I mean, really take a long time to not be able to fall asleep. And I was like, what's going on? Like, what? What is going on? And it wasn't every day. And all of a sudden, it occurred to me, I'm not moving enough. Hey, Craig, good morning. And you might be thinking to yourself, hey, good morning, Marty. Like, you taught yoga. Of course you're moving enough. Well, yes and no. Because at the end of owning my yoga studio and kind of my yoga life, um, I did a lot more of the business and a lot less teaching. And so I was sitting in front of a computer a lot. And I was so exhausted and kind of mentally overwhelmed and just kind of done with the whole yoga setting that I kind of stopped unless I was teaching and I wasn't really doing much of anything else. And it was that crossroads that I recognized I'm pretty much just sitting at my computer all day long and I'm exhausted I'm tired when I show up to teach I'm exhausted I'm tired and so I was doing less hey good morning Julie and therefore I wasn't sleeping well and so there are tons of reasons why people might not be sleeping well Tons. You can Google until your heart's content, WebMD, here I come, whatever it is. Like, be careful because it's a black hole. But I will say this today. The more that you move, the more energy you're going to expend, the better you're going to sleep. Our body is like, like a machine. We have so much energy every single day to give out. And if we don't use it up, it's pent up inside. It's pent up inside. So then when we lay down to go down to sleep, it's like, I can still keep going. Our mind, our body, so many different reasons. Now, we could go down the rabbit hole of talking about the pineal gland and how it produces melatonin and if it's calcified, you might not be sleeping well and, you know, oh, this and that. Like, we could talk about all different things, levels in the body, different nutrition. Today, though, we're focusing on energy expenditure equals better sleep. So part of our challenge is for each and every one of you to say 15 minutes, 15 minutes. If you've never really done anything other than wake up, drive, eat, go on whatever it is that you, you know, Facebook or doodle or call your friend or sit down or whatever it is afterwards when you're done and then go to sleep, we're trying to break that cycle. We're trying to insert conscious movement. And what this also does is mentally, if you haven't recognized it over the last three days, mentally, our brain is like, thank you. Whether you're focusing on breathing or you're out for a brisk walk, or you're like, I'm gonna dance to music or I'm gonna do yoga or I'm gonna lift weights or whatever it is, our brain is like, finally, something else and we expend energy. So today, I want you to think about one thing. When I move, I expend energy. It's like when you accelerate, you use more fuel. Therefore, when I park for the night, meaning you park your body in your sleeper or in your bed at home, you are gonna have less in the tank, less to aggravate you, and it's gonna be easier for you to fall asleep. I'll leave you with this. Um, I can remember many nights that I would lay down to bed, and actually this happened to me just uh, last week, 
and I close my eyes and it's like I take a big breath in and a big breath out and I just feel like my whole body sinks into the bed. It's like someone is digging a hole beneath me and I am just I love those days. Why do I love those days? Because I, I know that I used my body, I used my mind, I used every inch of me, and sleep is the reward. Sleep is the reward. So if you're tr having trouble sleeping, ask yourself, am I moving enough? You could ask yourself a million other questions and those will all be viable. I encourage you to kind of evaluate today. But one thing I want you to pay attention is, is am I moving enough? And when we move more, our mind gets a break. We focus on other things. We kind of are, oof, disconnect. But our bodies, our bodies are using the fuel and using the energy for every day appropriately. Sometimes we're mentally exhausted, but not physically exhausted. It's about a balance. So I also think about it like, cut. <laughs> <laughs> I also just want to give a little shout out to every single participant in this challenge and remind you to keep going. I saw some people feeling like down in the dumps yesterday, like, oh, I didn't do good. And then you're posting you drink 60 ounces of water, 100 ounces of water, like you, you, you ate fruits and vegetables, like you did these things and you're disappointed in yourself. No, this is not how this works. You met you met what was required and it's only day three. We can only get better. So give yourself some grace as you go through this challenge with us and remember to just show up and do your best every day. I'm, I'm not perfect every day. I don't, do, I, don't, I don't meet all of my expectations every day, but all I can do is learn from it and do even better tomorrow. So today, get your movement in. Get your breathing in. I just did a video on Mother Trucker Yoga yesterday um, with a longer tutorial on breathing. Um, get your movement in, get those fruits and vegetables in, get off of electronics 20 minutes before. Maybe that's when you do your walk or your breathing or yoga, whatever it is. We are here to support you. You can do this. You can do this. And just know that is why you're joining the challenge. Not to be perfect on day three, like, no. But know that you have four weeks to walk with us and keep creating these new habits. So, so just give yourself some grace and know that, you know what, I'm gonna check these boxes every single day and do the best that I can. And 60 ounces of water, 100 ounces of water, one bottle of water if you haven't been drinking water for who knows how long, are incredible, incredible, incredible wins. So I hope that this gets you off to a great start this morning. We're here to support you, Julie and I. Keep posting all your amazing photos. Like I was almost in tears yesterday sharing with my husband how amazing all of these posts were and how many amazing wins you were all having. So keep doing that, keep motivating each other, and don't be so hard on yourself. This is about creating new habits. This isn't about running the marathon. This is about learning how to keep going so that marathon lasts forever. This isn't just 20 miles, 30 miles. This is for the rest of your life. So let's do it together. All right, my friends, that's all I have for you. Have an incredible morning. Keep posting in the group. If you have specific questions for Julie and I, hit us up, drop it in the group, because if you have that question, I'm sure somebody else does too. Goodbye.